known by the name Tayo Shabali. Um, I don't know where to start from, which of them should I pick. Um, well, I'm a business developer and um, a man with the foresight for Obomo Shop in a bit. I'm doing this little to ensure that everything is um, what we expect it to be. So let me, let me just keep it short. Let me leave it to yeah. him. Too. Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Oladi Popola Oli, and we are in Ubumo Show here. Uh, we call Ubumo Show Agility. Interesting. Yeah, uh, so uh, where we funded a, an institute, we started as a consulting firm and we metabolized to an institute, and focus is on biomedical research and functionally on translational taking products from bench to bedside. It means from the lab to people that will benefit from it. So, and uh, that's what we're doing in our Obuma shop here. And we are trying to make a contribution to the betterment of life. Amazing. Um, so, <clears throat> I feel like you were introducing yourself, but you didn't specifically mention like the companies you need. So I think it would be good for us to hear the names of God. Okay, so um, well, I I sit as the um, founder of um, the Beach Business Community that has uh, a number of businesses managing in the Bomosho here. Um, one of which is um, Let's Records, a music recording studio. We have um, a primary nursery school at Aba Sort Out Academy. We also manage Visita Interiors as an interior decoration company. Um, I don't know if I can remember all now. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. We have um, okay. We have a picture project that is ongoing. That um, for a number of young folks or adults that have idea of what they want to do, but they don't know how to bring it out into um, a valuable merchandise. You know, we help them through that journey to you know make it uh, make it work. And we have about, about over fifty that we have worked with in our operating. We also have uh, partners with um, Dubel Homes, that's a real estate company. Investors are from Europe, and um, a number of others. A number of others. Um, I think we have a um, financial business also, um, Easy Pay, uh, making building an unbiased bank for students. Okay. You know, you have to get to GT Bank to run the GT. You have to get to. So we are just like a a, a, a small. Where most of things you can get basically open your account on the ATMs, yeah. you can collect it, everyone from, from our own desk. Okay. And that's what we are still working on that one. And um, I don't know, I, sh I think I've skipped one or two, okay. but I just want to keep it short. That's amazing. That's a whole suite of. Uh, yes, and we have them suits. all mostly in the Bomo Show here. Show. That's amazing. Yes. That's a lot of value you brought into the community. Uh, so, yes, I think I'll also ask the same question from you. Yeah, we, we work on. We have an establishment which is Elix Spurgeon Institute and majorly what we do, we do capacity building for students in biomedical sciences okay. and we do trainings and the training has spanned beyond Nigeria, yes, being a boomer shop. And even the physical trainings, we have people traveling down from Port Abuja, all the stuff. So uh, by not even having a business alone, but contributing to the economy yeah. of the community mm -hmm. in such a way that yeah. your business is. Uh, one of the things again is like, you know, uh, it's known already that from the last uh, uh, COVID-19 COVID vaccine candidate, we developed one with a team here in oh. Omosho and we oh, made it to WHO oh. list. Mm -hmm. And after that, we discussed that at last year in ODES. Yes, yes. And again this year, we'll be one of uh, looking at uh, Innovate Lab as one of the people we are looking up to, headed by my brother J.D. here. We also mm -hmm. able to uh, do wonders through God because it's in Lagos mm -hmm. that you hear about startup attracting investors. Yeah. So <coughs> now we are based in Obomo Show and we also attracted investors. Absolutely. And, uh, and just not attracting investors from Nigeria, we attracted international investors. investors. Wow. And it's that has enable us to employ 18 more staff wow. That's on, the, on the project. And students have been coming for training, industrial training, high tea, a span across the whole Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So we have students coming around to train, 
and we have instances where there are train students have gotten scholarship for their PhD, both in the US, in the UK, in wow. Australia. Mm -hmm. So that's a leverage that we are giving students. So instead of you leaving Ogumosho and go to Lagos, or leave Ogumosho and go to Ibadan, or leave Ogumosho and go to Port Harcourt, in that your community, you can still have access to what others are having access to elsewhere with high quality. Yeah. Because people leave Lagos to come and have their training done here. Yeah. yeah yes. Because at least the price is relatively cheaper than yeah. what they have in Lagos, Lagos and true. the quality is still the, the same. same. Amazing. Amazing. True. I mean this is this true. is amazing. I'm, I'm seated with greatness, right? True. True. Greatness true. on the side. Um so yeah, I think I knew I also need to introduce myself. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so my name is Jesu Damlari Adeshagun David. Uh co-founder of Innovate Lab. Basically, we are an innovation hub that seeks to leverage technology, entrepreneurship, and placemaking to transform underserved university communities, right? And Ubomosho is like our launch pad, right? Where we are choosing to, to start the work and establish, I mean, it's, so it's more like an urban spoke kind of model, right? So the hub is Ubomosho, and then it impacts every part of Africa, right? So um, uh, beyond Innovate Lab, so we also have Kiola. Kiola basically works with founders, bold and visionary founders, to build timeless brands and digital experiences, right? Because you observe that there are some founders that it takes people who think on their wavelength to be able to interpret the visions they have in their heart. So we have uh, Kiola, which is a brand, a digital brand agency that helps them to do that. So we work with clients from across the world, uh, at least across three continents right now, um, and, and counting. And then we have this uh, program called Children That Change the World. It's more of a non-profit, and it's focused on high school students in Obomosho and beyond, right? What do we teach them? We teach them creative thinking and critical thinking for problem solving. We feel like the populace of a location cannot rise above the level of their thinking. Yes. So, mm -hmm. And yeah. if we do not do that hard work right now, then it will mean that we would always have to start again and again so we've been working with university students and you know working class professionals but we felt it's good to cut them young mm -hmm. so from gss1 we're already teaching them how to think right and uh, that has led to two innovation challenges in the Bumosho, um in 2018 and 2019 uh, uh, where these students after they listened to us on the radio they came to build they, they build solutions, right? Mm -hmm. Which they now presented before an audience. So many of them, that was the first time they were even doing something like that, right? And it just, you know, kind of like gave them, uh, how do I call it? It, it gave them uh, the experience of changing, uh, I mean, solving problems, mm -hmm. right? With mm -hmm. the things they have learned mm -hmm. and, and all of that. So uh, that's about Innovate Lab, for, for instance. All right, so uh, we've had these amazing introductions and uh, said, I mean, I'm sitting beside greatness, as it were. Uh, so I, I would like to ask uh, further, like, why did you choose to stay in Obumosho? I'd like to ask Dr. Dr. Oladipo. Ah, that is a big question. Mm. Honestly, one of the things that I have three factors that propel or was being staying behind. One of it, one, is that I was born in a good marshal and raised in a good marshal. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I was telling my daughter that the Baptist Medical Center, that's where I was born. You two was born here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Sorry. laughs> so, <laughs> so, I school again in a good marshal. Amazing. At least my secondary school in a good marshal, my primary school in a good marshal. My first degree, Lao Tech. Mm -hmm. Second degree, Lao Tech. Third degree, Lao Tech. So, so born and bred bread and butter in Ogumo. <laughs> so I one of the way to give back to the community is by bringing something back to the community. Amazing. Though it's not easy mm. because we have pressure that things like this cannot be in Ogumo. You have to be in Portugal, you have to be in Abuja. But we are just, we, let me say, I, I just being rugged and stubborn mm. that if everyone moves to Lagos, mm -hmm what to the left of the town mm. so and that is one of the <coughs> things that propelled me staying around then the third thing is that i look at the economic landscape of Ubumosho. people don't understand as a researcher about tech i need a place where i can think mm. so if i'm going to office 
I if I calculate my time, I will reach there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So traffic <laughs> is, is it's is, almost non-existent, right? Yeah. So if you look at my running calls for my office space, everything, because I'm in the digital space, mm. I have leverage in Ogumosho that I've been in Lagos. That's true. So, and I can service many people from Ogumosho and service them in Lagos, and which is what we are doing right, right. now. So, and those are the things I felt that we need to stay around, contribute to the economy of the community. Then the third thing, I, I, the last thing I've seen is that I look, when I was growing, I've worked in Nursery and Primary School in Ogumosho. I worked in Secondary School in Ogumosho. I taught students and I've collected stipend, not salary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So my, my desire is how can we have a big company, an organization in Ogumosho, that when people graduated, they don't need to go to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay in Ogumosho and well paid. That's true. That's true. The, the, the last time I needed to write to NYC, that we need to take coppers because I know if you don't go to lab tech, they go to secondary school. At the end of the day, they pay them token. Mm -hmm. Then professionally, they are contributing to the community, but they are not developing. Exactly, that's true. So when I felt that, oh, mm -hmm. let's do have something on ground, that when even they post copper from Port Harcourt, from Lagos, they come to Gumosho, they can see something that is mimicking the environment over there yeah. to enhance their staying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Not yeah. they want to relocate, they want to go, go back. So those are the factors we are looking holistically in setting up something in Gumosho. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You mentioned a statement. You said um, your staying back is because you are rugged and stubborn. Right? Yes. You are being rugged and stubborn. And I feel like that's that's the spirit of all the entrepreneurs that I've seen who have stayed here in Okomosho. Mm -hmm. It's that sense of, I mean, the obstacles we give way won't be mm -hmm. the ones that will give way before the obstacles. Yeah. And I think that that should really yeah, speak yeah, a bit to also um, your own the, experience. The, the rugged and stubborn are more or less like the ingredients needed to bring a vision to fruition. That's mm -hmm. true. That's very true. You, if you have a vision, there is no how you will not be rugged and stubborn. You will not mm -hmm. be rugged and stubborn pursuing nothing. Mm. So when he made that statement, I was like, what exactly this question comes to me? It's just a vision. Mm. Why are we here? Well, I was not bred in Bumasho. Maybe I might say you just have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Lagos. In Lagos uh, right? I was born in Agbagada, Lagos. And um, I we have a family business in Lagos. I'm running over 20 years now that uh, my parents are old. They don't know who they will hand it over to. So it's more or less like going and become the CEO. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they've, they've pressured me. But why am I here? They've asked me that question time and again. Why? What's going on in that place? And I'm like, I'm in the middle of something. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. Very soon, you will see the fruits. Don't take me off now. Mm -hmm. So why you just want to stay in that place? The same thing with um, my woman. Why? I'm not sure. And I realize that rugged and stubborn is because there is a vision. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I also look at it and I'm like, people who are in Lagos, Lagos is not enough for them. Abuja is not enough for them. For Akot, now they are going to the UK. Mm. We are getting feedback from them. UK is not enough for them. Mm. You know, they are already complaining. You want to save. I see so, uh, someone stayed us today. Saying um, uh, there's a this funny video, uh, you want to stay. Uh, those who are just coming into UK saying ah, I will save well in this UK, and those who are there for five years are giving this kind of look like, hey, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> so we realize that there is no way that is enough for you mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. until you sit down and look at what exactly, how can I <clears throat> convert where I am to where I want to be. Exactly. So, yeah. so I, I think until we have men that have foresight, mm. they will not. Though it comes with the rugged and stubborn, yeah, it comes with the price. <laughs> it comes with having gray hair early. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see my beard. Like so I, think I, I keep a clean shave. So <laughs> you may not see some of them. Sincerely, I, I, I was with my. I wanted to go and you know before the, but I, there was no time. I'm like, How am I going to show this? And, <laughs> They count it for me daily. So it's, um, it's, I think, I think I chose Obama Shaw not really because I, I wished to choose Obama Shaw when I did, but um, I won't lie to you, JD was one of the people that um, um, was used. This ODS thing that became big, I believe 
started from a mindset. I remember the time when we um, met and there was a very small gathering there. Uh, Dr. Okawa was not there then. Um, Dr. Derry and go and we had this, we kept on asking this question every time we meet, why did we choose this place? And I think when I saw them, I don't think Ikea was this big then. It was, it, it was, it, it was just, in the, it, yes. It was in the process. But now, process. wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. You know, I remember that meeting and, you know, I, even if I wanted to give up, I realized that I was not the only one there. Mm. So I continued. There have been times when I've looked at my load, like, there is company car, house, business waiting for you to pay people salaries. Don't stay, I'm coming. Mm. Why here? On the platter of gold. At that point, I met him and we continued. Arrogant and stubborn began to become hope. Mm. Hope, because I believe we had a meeting some a um, couple of weeks ago yeah. where we uh, foreign people came in and yeah. they were like, yeah. for kind of all this is a boomer show. Mm-hmm. This hope is looking like it's no more hope. It's, it's becoming. It's, it's and now ODS came. Mm. And like, we are opening this door for many more people to let's flow together. And that's why, no matter how much I can, Rugged and Stubborn is going to go into ODS. That's true. Because it's, it's a vision yeah. to fulfill the reason why I stayed. Yeah, yeah. So, um, like I said, let me keep it short. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so that's the I'm already me. feeling inspired all over again, right? Yes. You know, like, yes. Um, Thank you so much for sharing because, and, and that's, you know, from two different angles. Uh, you were born and bred here. Mm. You were not born and bred. You came in through school. Yes, through, through Lauter School. Yes. I myself also came into Bomosho through schooling. Uh, however, my grandmother was based here. In fact, they used to call her Mama Bomosho. Uh, <laughs> so my mom was born in uh, Bowen. Yeah, then, then, then that, that, that will be Baptist oh, medical, medical center, center oh, back yeah. there, right? You know, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, I, I, I feel like when I came to Bumosho, this was the last place. Lautech was the last school I was I was trying to attend. Mm-hmm. Bumosho was the last place I was trying to be in, mm-hmm. right? But something just happened between when I gained admission and when I graduated, and I just mm-hmm. felt like this is where I want to live life, right? And it's actually beautiful because the quality of life. I feel for me, I'm a contemplative person. I I like to spend time with my thoughts, right? And Lagos and other places I've been in, while they have things that you feel like, wow, if this were present here, it would actually make a whole lot of difference. But when you see the stress you have to go through just to move around, and you're like, no, 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 I can't deal with that, right? You're in Obomosho, just as you mentioned. If you want to make an appointment for 10 10 o'clock, you can leave your house 9.45. Yeah. And you get to your appointment, you know, venue right on time. So I feel like uh, the decision to stay was beyond me, right? It was it was impressed on my heart that this is where actually I should live my life, you know. And I've gotten offers from diverse countries, right? You know, I mean, come over here. We have this job waiting for you. We have this. I mean, I've gotten calls that I had to I had to tell them no upfront on the phone. That I'm not. This is where I am, right? So um, it has not come with a cost, just as you also said. It has mm-hmm. not come with. I mean, it has not come without uh, without a price, right? But the things we saw back then. I remember in 2016, 17, about three, four, five people actually said the way you talk about Obomosho, and I've not even started innovating mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. The way you talk about Obomosho, like we need to come and buy land here. <laughs> so they came, bought acres of land. Because they said, the way you talk about it, we feel like when these things you're saying come to pass, we don't want to miss out. Hmm. So it will not be like we had the opportunity to actually, you know, like secure something right there. And it's, and right now, many of them are already seeing that, wow, like what this guy said is actually hmm. coming into fruition right yes. now. So I, I think that's, a, that's an amazing one. So I would just like us to segue into, you know, how does the vision that kept you here, how does it, you know, tally with what ODS is about you know uh, for you sir like where do you see the intersection and how do you see the ODS you know like you know making some of these visions come to pass yeah well, like ODES that is Ogumosho Digital Economic Summit mm-hmm. this is a summit that is telling us how business startups in Ogumosho can leverage 
on Digida platform. And one thing I'm so appreciative about this organization, this program is Ogumosho Digida Summit will be held in Ogumosho. Right in Ogumosho. Mm. Not Ogumosho Digida Summit that is held in Lagos or <laughs> Abuja because it doesn't have a direct impact on the, com on the community, on That's the grassroots. True. True. So it, it's about leveraging on digital platforms to transform, to inform. The reason why I use transform in the first instance is that when you have a startup and you have leverage on a digital platform that you have that has transformed your business, then it's easier to get your business to be informing others beyond the shore of Nigeria, beyond Africa. I, I, Gumashore is a good place, but we need to expand beyond our own startup because as an entrepreneur, you have your competitors, not for you to destroy the business, but for you to learn from them and see how you can improve on your services, on the value you are adding to people. And ODS has been a platform that can showcase different startup, different incubators, what they're actually doing mm. in the soil of mm. Ogumosho mm. here. And mm. compare to the dynamics of things doing to what is happening in Lagos and see how they are competing at the same level mm. despite they are in Ogumosho here. You know, I started an example of the great investors that we, we, we got from that. We compete. Mm. It's going to be surprising that the organization selected three startup in the whole West Africa. Wow. So if a startup from a secondary city, let me borrow your language, yeah. from a secondary <laughs> city was able to make up to the list. So it means the environment is still conducive. Yeah. If you have the understanding of the environment. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Because if you don't have the understanding of the environment, you keep complaining. Yes. Because the understanding of the environment is also very, very important. And that's why one of the understanding is the digital platform. Mm. So you can be here and you can have claims from any part of, of the, the world. world. That's true. That's very true. So that is what I we have felt that we are doing. Now, most of our own training is virtual. I have my system. I have every other thing. And we are get, students are getting value for what we are offering. The next line of training we are doing now, we have students from Cape Town, we have students from Rwanda, we have students from India, we have students from Kigali. So you see that based in the promotion yeah. now, but you can touch every part of the world. Mm. And we have even collaborators that want to work with us that are not Nigerian-based company. Mm. Exactly. And those are the things we are looking up in the future mm. to bring some company down to the Gomojo right. and get established and add value to people's life. And Tango, we have a airport there in Elori. Elori yeah, so sure. I do tell them if you're coming to Lagos or Abuja, fly take a flight to Elori. From Elori, in the next 45 minutes, you are here. And we are safe. There yeah. is safety. There's safety, there is, yeah, there's there's safety in Gomojo yes, here. Yes, yes. So you have a bunch of and food is here. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come around, we have you good do, food. We have good, good food. food. <laughs> affordable. 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 Good food is here. <laughs> yeah. So true. and we believe that there is growth. Mm. The US state government is trying its best. Mm. The new king is trying its best. Yeah. There will still be growth, and things will keep improving. That's so true. if all of us come together as a team and leverage on digital platform, we can see many, many good things that will be happening mm. in this community. Yeah. 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 True. Do you want to talk to that as oh, well? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I don't know. ODES is more or less like a wall breaker for me. <laughs> um, it's more or less like, um, let me permit me to say Urbanity, um, or when you buy Danny Loju, or my friend Soyani. Let me help you to interpret. <laughs> when you have a good champ that is potent, you are proud to talk about it. Exactly. I think um, ODES is that boldness mm. to tell the world what we have. Mm. And um, I used to, uh, I have a brand that I'm working on, Pitchworks, into branding. The bigger your banner, the bolder people see you are. That's true, that's true. So ODS is the big banner showing the world what we have in the moment you're here. Mm. ODS is like, um, like I said, a wall breaker. When um, the house is straight, mm. you break down the house to build a bigger one. That's true. So, <laughs> Ogumosho is about to become a city without walls. <laughs> mm, thank you. <laughs> so, and um, I understand this vision, you know. 
I I don't know. It's just more or less like you you have some things going on. For example, now I've been an uh, opportunity to be in the midst of um, the um, football arm in Bumosho, yeah. the um, Nigeria Football Coaches Association FC in Bumosho chapter. Um, a bona fide member <clears throat> of. Um, I said I was telling them about ODS yesterday. Amazing. Yes, I we're was expecting them. them in their numbers. Yes, I'm, yeah. I, was to, I told them because we do have meetings mm -hmm. on at the stadium. Mm -hmm. I told them that we will be coming to introduce to them. So I just told them to um, to watch out. Now we have um, football talent in the Boma Shop here. Mm -hmm. And um, whether we talk about um, business, startups, we're talking about the youth, people who are coming up, the economy has yeah. to do with the people in the place. Exactly. And we have, you'll be shocked to know that we have over 50 football clubs in the Boma Shop. Jesus. For real? I mean, this is mind blowing. <laughs> I was surprised when I got there also, because we are currently playing a league of um, 10 teams, out of the 10 teams, minimum of 22 players are from each team. That's about 220 people in those, just those 10. Uh, a competition is starting next week. We have about 26 teams Amazing. in that competition and they are Amazing. all from Obomosho here. Amazing. All from Obomosho here. Uh, uh, to a very large extent, I, when I got into the Amis, I, I shared my vision with them, which was ODS. But it was not termed ODS, mm. digitalizing sports. Sports. That's what I told them <laughs> then. And they discouraged me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, yes. Because of, um, I'm going to, there's, that's why I said I'm talking about how DES yes. is doing some. You don't know, we don't know how much um, this platform is healing mm. and solving. Mm. We talked about you and I changed the world, change their mentality. Because I had to meet some people, I shared my vision in the meeting, and they told me it's impossible. Every match I play, I go live. Every match. The one they played yesterday is live on Instagram. Hmm. Every match I play. And I told them, okay, we need more equipment. We need this. We need this. We need to have a vision. And they, not, they were not against it based on their, but they were like, thugs hmm. will not guarantee you protection. Thugs will not guarantee you security. Because football is an emotional game. Hmm. Somebody can get angry and pick the camera you brought and smash it. What are you going to do? So that discouraged me. They told me about the stories in the past and the likes and the likes. And then while we were talking here, I realized that they have to attend ODES. They have to. Very essential. If ODES is um, targeted to a specific arm of a it might not work. That's true. Because while you were talking about, you know, come from Cape Town, from Kigali, the truth is, the offering from Elix might be, will be definitely of quality. Mm -hmm. But what happens when they leave the four walls of Elix? Mm -hmm. Where did they go to? Which roads did they apply? Who did they meet on the road? Mm -hmm. So that is the whole experience of somebody who goes somewhere. So if somebody is planning um, a thing in a box, it might not really work. Mm -hmm. And nobody can do it alone. That's true. Yeah, that's so ODES is more or less like a, a platform that brings every everybody. part of the ecosystem in the Bumbosho together. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking of how do we go beyond the walls of this place? Mm -hmm. For, like I talked about sport now, how can they see the quality in Bumbosho in football? Mm -hmm. How? ODS is the answer. Amazing. Or else they will keep coming and keep going. Mm -hmm. We don't have to keep telling, making people say, I came from, say, you're not from came from Ogumosho. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're aware of that. Yeah, yeah. It's good in Lauta. He, he came from Ogumosho, and he played for Nigeria. We don't have to keep pointing down. They can come and build these academies here. Right here, yeah. in Ogumosho. Yeah. yeah. Music Academy by Nice, Abolore. You know it's from Ogumosho? Yes, too. Nice, yes, Nice from Ogumosho, yes. Right here. So, but when they know that, okay, I, I don't have a problem setting up this, every other thing is settled. Everybody is thinking the same way. So ODS is, I don't see it as um, a, a one-time thing, though. Definitely. It's, it's a, what did you, you used the words? Uh, stubborn and, and, and rugged. And rugged. rugged. It's a stubborn and rugged mindset. So, and I see this coming program, coming this November, as a must attend. I think November 1 and 2. Yeah, November, yeah, November 2023. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 1, 2, 2023. November 1st, 2nd. Anybody who doesn't want to be left out mm -hmm. should do their best to attend to be there. so that they won't be fighting something they don't understand. Mm -hmm. That's very, very strong. So because um, you, you cannot stop, you cannot stop the digital world. That's true. It's not possible. That's true. You can't. 
You can't say me for networking in your eye. <laughs> we have great Thanks. number of good speakers who are highly experienced that we are, that yes. become, in different that fields. fields. Yeah. So um, it's, it's a thing of joy for me. I'm, I'm having good pimples whenever I think of a good show. Um, ODS. Yeah. I'm, like, I can't just wait for that day and the impact afterwards. afterwards. Amazing. So I, I hope, I hope, I hope that people will be there. The program is already set. It is. It's just for people to come and do yeah. you know. Yeah. So that, let me and they have to come earlier because we have a quite number of people that are coming. Yes, so last year people right. travel from Lagos, Abuja, different places. Right. Yeah, and, and, and speaking of which, I think ODS yes, this year is also time. Yes, because very, we now have tight. a new show, yes. a new king. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, go much more land that is digital. <laughs> is digitally in mind. inclined exactly. It's digitally inclined, which makes it a little bit easier for us to hit the nail on the head. You are right. Um, so, one of the things I think I found out about myself is like I'm a bridge builder. Right, you know, like a connector of you know people, and I, I feel this has played out so well in the vision of ODS. Right, how that we are all. I mean, we don't have Reverend Bright, Peter here, yeah. and Doctor Adere to Adere well, before from SQI. From SQI, SQI yes. yes. I mean, but we are all working together to make ODS right a reality and a success as it were. So you see, the the, the beautiful thing about about a community like Obumosho is. The ingredients for success are already there. Yes, mm. All that is needed is how do we paint a vision that everyone in the community can rally around? Mm. How do we paint something so strong? So last year, the, the vision of what is possible in Obumosho became amplified, right? You know, mm. people listened to you talk, you moderated the panel, you know, and as those conversations were happening, I could see the light, you know, popping up in people's eyes, like, oh wow, like this is possible. I mean, the vaccine candidate was from here. Yes. I mean, um, what's it called? Uh, we talked about the branding of Obomosho. We talked about using art to beautify the city mm -hmm. and all of that, right? So uh, for me, I feel like the transformation of Anandas, because one of the things is choice is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Having choice uh, to stay in a place where you have the best of life. Instead of you being under pressure to go somewhere where you know that mm -hmm. if I'm getting economic um, um, uh, empowerment, other parts of my life suffer. Mm -hmm. So, Obomosho can be where you have everything. Yes. You have a family that you're seeing consistently. It's not like you're leaving home by 5 a.m. and then you're returning home by 11 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. And your children don't get to see you throughout the day. And then on weekends, you want to go do something else, right? And your children, you have to move them. I mean, and, and, and family units are breaking, right? You know, yeah, uh, the fabric is, you know, collapsing and all of that, right? But through ODS, we are helping people see that. See, in Obomosho year, you can get the best of both worlds. You can have city experience while you can have the, the beauty of community. I mean, um, when I walk on my street, right, I still greet people. Like, you know, you're able to yeah. greet people, good morning, and all of that, right? You get to the office, you're greeting people, good morning. But when I go to Lagos sometimes, it's on your own, everybody on your own, like, you know, your face is set to the floor, right? You suspect who greets you <laughs> usually. Good morning, good, good morning. <laughs> you know, that, that kind of thing. But so, so, leveraging the digital platforms, as you have yes. said, helps you to get access to the entire globe. Mm -hmm right from here in Obomosho. And, and I feel like that's what we want to see. We want to see startups built here mm -hmm. that are valued as unicorns because they can actually be built here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so. the story of Zoho keeps inspiring me. Mm -hmm. Zoho is um, a tech company that is based in, in India. The headquarters of Zoho right now is in a village, is in a rural area in India, right? And the, the founder said he wanted it to be so, so that he could show that there is nowhere in the world you can't build a global company from, hmm. right? Even though they started in the US, but he relocated the headquarters to India, hmm. right? To go, you know, and, and it has transformed that entire region. Hmm. So I, I saw the video of a security guard becoming a software programmer. Like hmm. he started as a security guard, but he transitioned to becoming a software programmer. Hmm. The interesting thing is that Zoho, they just celebrated a milestone of a billion dollars in revenue <laughs> from that part of India. Right? So it's also possible here in Obomosho. Like we have all the ingredients. We have academic institutions like Lautech okay, is here. Yes. We have two teaching hospitals right here yeah, in town. Yes. Those are things that other places in Nigeria, for instance, don't have. Exactly. Right? You know? And relatively, the ratio of, this, of the population to these institutions yeah. is 
is like mind blowing. Like mm. uh, if, if it was in Lagos, you'll be seeing the ratio maybe like four hundred to one. Mm. But here you are seeing maybe the ratio is like twenty to one. You yeah. know that kind of thing, right? So um, ODS is going to be that uh, how do I call it that um, that place where all the economic stakeholders come together, get fired up. Like the guest strengthened, iron they say sharpens iron, iron right? Yeah. And then we go back for the next one year, go and implement. Then by the next year when we come together, there'll be testimonials of what has happened, you know, and all of that. So I can't wait for I can't wait for this uh, particular you yeah. know uh, yes. edition. Yes. And just as uh, you mentioned, our king, yes, will be our new show. Right, will be there opening up the entire event, and he has amazing plans for promotion. So yes. you have to be there so you don't miss yes. hearing yes. what the king has in plans yes. for promotion. Yes. Yes. So, so now, now, just just thinking about it, I, I'm feeling excited already, Same and I'm looking at ten years from now. What could the promotion look like? Like, do you have any any pictures you can share with us, like, <laughs> of what a promotion could look like in ten years time? Uh, okay, well, maybe I should start. Yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, they do say whatever you will become, mm -hmm. you are already becoming. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, now this recording is done in a bomo shop. In a bomo shop. In Lexi Records. Lexi Records in a bomo shop. Uh, not that we had to do it elsewhere to look comely. Exactly. And um, uh, it can only get better. Definitely. Because um, whatever we are for all the years now, just like I said earlier. ODS is amplifying what we have seen working. Yes. The others we also see, so we know it can work. Mm -hmm. And imagine if one of us can achieve a thousand, mm -hmm. what will a whole lot of us do? Mm -hmm. So I don't think I have an endless picture, but I can say that in 10 years' time, Obama show will be in a progressing level where we will not need ODS to achieve ODS. Mm -hmm. Because ODS will be happening to us. It's a movement. It's a movement. So we will not need to do this program to achieve. Because um, we might be thinking we'll be doing ODS every year. In 10 years, mm -hmm. I think we'll have sat down to say, do we need to do it this year? Exactly. Like, maybe there's something more. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. But um, I'm not comparing. I'm not going to be comparing a boomer show with... Maybe I have a picture in my head. Okay. okay. Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> I so, love that. Yeah. You know. So I, because I can't, I, I, I don't wish Lagos here. No, 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 no. no. I don't wish Lagos, Lagos here. Lagos is not the idea here. I, I don't. I was born and bred there. <laughs> I don't want that life for my children. <laughs> I don't wish Lagos right. here. So I think so. Uh, from from the old from the old um, um, enthusiasm we have towards these ODS coming, um, I believe it's 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 um, it's going to around especially this very virtual, It's going to around what we are expected to see in the next ten years. So please, can you speak to that? Okay, in the next ten years, what I'm trying, to, I have in my mind that we likely see is one of your visions mm. for that. Obumo Shaw will turn to Silicon Valley. Amazing, amazing. That when you need a good startup for a particular thing, talk about fintech, talk about biotech, talk about mm -hmm. ICT, SQI is there. You need the best ant to handle that. You just call. We'll find it. Yeah. I, I won't mention name now. I have one of the guys that we trained in Ellis that came from IT. He's currently working with a startup in Oxford University. Amazing. Wow. And he went to three series of interviews based on the skill he acquired. So he's working with a startup that has to do with immunotherapy. Wow. Amazing. So it means that with time, Okuma Shaw will be a center the next 10 years. We'll be export expert mm. to other parts. Mm -hmm. Not only exporting, like what I'm trying to do, there's something we call capacity building. Yeah. 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 But I have left capacity building. building. What we want to do in Ogumo I want to do capacity retention. Mm, mm, we build okay. capacity, we retain, retain the capacity, same, capacity, and we right. give them the same incentives mm. to remain. Mm. To remain. Mm. And then they can so, travel, so, the world so they travel the world. So they can travel the world and come back, mm. and mm. even the, the, the Western world will be forced to come to relocate their company and come and establish here yeah. because yeah. we have the, the, the raw materials, yeah. the, 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 the energy, yeah. the manpower, we, we have the everything right is here. Right so here. that is what I'm looking for up to the True. next 10 years. True. I, I mean, that's very, very amazing. And, and considering the fact that Ubu as it as it is right now, 
still has large portions of undeveloped land. Land, yes. It means that Ogomosho can be well planned. It yes. can be like so. I see a well planned city emerging, yeah. right? That you know um, has very good road networks that you know makes it easy for smart people to meet each other. Exactly. You know that kind of thing. Like so, we will need a new downtown. I yeah. see a new downtown yeah, in Ogomosho, yeah, yeah. right? Where mm. you walkable distances. Mm. I mean, if if you travel to Paris or other parts of the world, you see their city centers yeah. as places where people converge. Exactly. A lot of people can meet themselves. So a musician can meet somebody who is a physicist, and then they are talking, and then they begin to see the connection between music and physics. Exactly. And then they take that into the lab, and then the next thing you get something that you know blows the mind of the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. right here in mm -hmm. I, I see all of that happening. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it, it is. is. I yeah, feel we are it on it the is. threshold of something so yeah, great. You yeah. know, uh, yeah. We're yeah. so excited. It but is. you know, we've talked about amazing things so far. But you know, I feel like we know that there have been some challenges, you know. So sure. can, can you speak some of the challenges you faced? I know we know there's a rugged, you know, and stubborn oh. approach, <laughs> but then, you know, the reason why you're rugged and stubborn is because there have yes. been challenges, right? Yes. So can you speak yes. some of the most important it, challenges you, know, you faced? In the my space of this startup about tech in the at the recently incident I had was the worst challenge of my life. Mm when Miss Craft broke in into our facilities mm -hmm. and cut away a lot of laptop, every other thing, even the drugs that we are selling, they cut away everything. You know, some of the time as an entrepreneur, we are not stubborn and rugged. Mm -hmm. You want to think that you are trying to create an environment to get people employed and some Miss Craft mm -hmm. felt that you are the best person to target, to destroy. <laughs> so if you don't have a great mindset, you can decide to park your company and leave the environment. Uh, but we have a vision that we are actually uh, pursuing, yeah. and that is why. The other thing I've seen as a challenge is that as much as I want to employ Ogumosho people, I find it difficult. Mm. I'm from Ogumosho, mm. too. So you discover that most of the people that are working most of the startup in Ogumosho are not in Ogumosho. Mm. Mm. So we need to encourage the Ogumosho indigents to, 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 to learn about new skills. That's true. I do tell us that it, I, 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 I teach in the university. I call something old skill and new job. Mm. So you can't acquire all skill in the university and expect you to fit in in the to new job. job that mm. require new skill. Mm. Mm. So if we are open that we want to have these, we want to turn to Silicon Valley, people, the indigenous, should brace hope to understand and learn the new skills in their various endeavors so that when those opportunities are opening, because it's going to open, mm -hmm. I'm very sure about that. They're able to key in into it and find themselves in reputable industries mm. to be relevant. Mm. So those are the things I see. And, and I think that that actually, you know, um, fits perfectly with the vision for ODS, yeah. where we are not making it exclusive to just a set of people, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because, I mean, last year we had representatives from all over, right? And we had um, even the informal industries. Yes, yes. We had market women, yes. Market women. Yeah, we had, you know... Um, 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 administrators and teachers from primary school, school secondary so school. that they could see what's possible mm. and take that back to those that they have influence mm. over and let them know that, hey, the world is changing mm. and you need to position yourself, you mm. need to discipline yourself, right, to acquire the skills needed not to be, you know, passed by, you know, mm. so I, I think that that's, a, that's an important challenge. I, I will speak to that and I'll come to you. Okay. I feel like one of the major challenges we have faced, but we have, uh, we have, we have been able to work around it is the fact that, just as you mentioned, not just capacity building, but capacity retention. Sure. Um, the turnover of um, talents, right, in Obomosho is quite high. What, you, what, what, what happens is that you train people, and then after a while, they leave the city. So you now have to start all over again with another set of people, right? So that has been a major challenge, and that's why ODS is very important, yes. because when the reason why people sometimes leave is when they have not yet gotten immersed enough in the vision of what's coming. Mm -hmm. So, but then if they see that it's not just talk, but there is real action towards achieving that, they feel like, oh wow, like I already have a leverage here because I started with these yeah. people. Yes. If I go to the other place, they've already started, they're already successful. So if I come in, I'm expendable. 
But if I stay with those who are just starting and I'm actually diligent there, when the successes come, I will be a key part. Uh, you, know, you know, this takes um, a little bit of um, critical thinking. Yes, yeah. <laughs> to, to actually, actually arrive at that true. <laughs> because um, sincerely, I, I don't know. This is more or less like the basic challenge that we have in Yeah. For uh, We've talked about good food, affordable. We've talked about um, resources, affordable. <laughs> So why then are you guys not moving at a speed? Uh, we realize that manpower, mm. human resource is one key. In fact, you will barely find human resource um, uh, management companies in a boom show as it were yeah. Yeah. in this place. Yeah. Who do we employ? Mm. We have people, mm. but can they fit in? Mm. Mm. But can they fit? I remember some years ago when um, the pitch was still uh, quite younger, I spoke to one of my key staff then, and I told her, I said, by the time you are ready to leave Ogomosho, I hope we'll have been big enough to pay you as a graduate. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I'm going to get to that, to that point, we must start work now. now. So um, then sometimes when people from outside also, people from Lagos, they compare what they are being paid in Ogomosho to what they are being paid in Lagos. Lagos. <laughs> they, it looks as if they are suffering. Mm -hmm. But the affordability of what you I get to use in maintaining labels. It's not the same with the same place. Yeah. So it so has to be adjusted. It to takes fit critical the thinking. That's, to, true. that's true. It takes a, a vision. And that's why that's why um ODES is meant it's not meant for Boomer Shot alone. Mm, mm. We must go live on YouTube. We'll be sending the links out. Yeah. Definitely. We'll go go live on YouTube. Let people know what's going on. What's going on here. Mm -hmm. So that when somebody is saying I'm going to Boomer Shot, they won't say, ah. We are going to that place. It will maybe release some people to join us. So I think that that challenge is a general thing. Yeah. For me, basically, that's it. Uh, business, of course, we learn, yeah. make mistakes. Exactly. But uh -huh. basically, what we is capacity retention. Exactly. I mean, this has been an amazing, amazing discussion with you both, and uh, I, I'm just so glad about everyone who is seeing this because yes. we can't wait to have you and host you. November 1 and 2, 2023, 2023. at the Great Hall in Lautech, Ubermotion. Thank you. Thank you.